What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today it looks like our brand new ban list for May 2018 has finally been revealed. So yes, uh, we have our ban list now, I'll have a link to it in the description, of course, to the official website and everything too, and uh, man, we have had a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh news <laughs> for the past like 24 hours, right? I mean, with this, we have our ban list, also uh, last night I talked about some brand new uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon cards, Cyber Dragon, even Black Wings got new support too, so if you guys missed out on all that, be sure to check it out because I'm still tired from all the news that we had last night, I stayed up really late on that too. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go through our brand new ban list. Of course, this will go into effect on May 21st, and it will last until uh, August 2018. So we have a little bit of a timeline for that too. And uh, yeah, here we go. First off, cards are newly forbidden. They're banned. Can't use them anymore. We have Astrograph Sorcerer, Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King, Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force, and That Grass Looks Greener. After that, cards that are limited, that means you can only use one of them. We have Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter, Gem Knight, Master Diamond, and Chain Strike. And then for cards that are semi-limited, that means they go to two. We have Apocalypse Fort Towers and Ring of Destruction. And then after that, cards that are newly unlimited, that means you can use three of them again. Have Atlantean Dragoons, Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord, Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior, Mathematician, Neospatian Grand Mole, and Compulsory Evacuation Device. So yes, that is our ban list. It has finally been revealed. So yeah, I feel like I can finally do some deck profiles now without worrying about cards changing too much on that. And then like as soon as I do a deck profile video, something that I'm going to use is like banned. So, uh, but yeah, a lot of really big cards were banned this time too. I mean, we have Astrograph Sorcerer. I mean, that getting banned. Uh, yeah, a little bit sad about that one. Then of course, Masterpiece. I don't think that one really surprises anyone. I mean, True Dracos have been doing amazingly well lately and even after they were hit you know several times in some past ban lists so I kind of figured uh, Masterpiece would get hit so yeah that's really not too surprising to me and then of course too they're also going after some different like FTK strategies that were going on like Amaryllis that was I believe part of an FTK strategy also Supreme King Dragon Storm Venom that was part of another one too where people could just instantly win a duel so I uh, yeah I guess that one had to be hit as well I heard something too about this rank up magic one I'm not really sure what happened on that one but I think that was part of something pretty crazy if I remember correctly and also I'm pretty sad about ancient fairy dragon come on that was so great with distretto and everything it really doesn't surprise me but yeah <laughs> that that makes me a little bit sad to see that band now it looks like uh, a signer dragon is down and banned also, that grass looks greener was also hit, which I think was also part of the whole Amaryllis thing, but I could be wrong. I'm not really sure on that, but yeah, that was also hit too on the list. For cards that were limited, I mean, the main one that kind of sticks out for me is Master Diamond, because if you guys remember, there was a Gem Knight OTK, or maybe it was FTK, I'm not really sure, it was one or the other, where Gem Knights could just destroy your opponent, and I guess that's the reason they went after Diamond, so... Yeah, that one kind of doesn't surprise me too much either because of that. Also kind of going after, you know, of course, Dracos and even Chain Strike on this one too. Then for Semi Limited, Apocalypse Fort Towers, I guess they kind of, you know, gave them a break on that because I think that was limited before. I, I could be wrong. And Ring of Destruction, they kind of went after that one too. And of course, for Unlimited, Atlantean Dragoons. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering. I, I feel like we're going to start seeing Mermels out there again. I, they were already getting some hype. I mean, Morning Glacia, that was getting some hype too. Even though we know it's getting a reprint soon, it already like shot up to $50. And uh, I think the reprint is only, what, a few weeks away or something? So it should be like a really cheap card after that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're definitely going to see Mermels coming back out there, especially with Atlantean Dragoons. That is definitely going to help them out. Also, Grand Soil, I think everyone's kind of expecting this too, because it's going to get reprinted, of course, uh, as well, you know, in the Flames of Destruction and that special edition, just like how Morning Glacier is getting reprinted. Yeah, it was the other card that was getting the reprint, and it's getting a text change, as uh, you know, also too on that. So, it is getting a little bit changed up, and honestly, nothing too surprising on that too. I think in the OCG, the same thing happened. So, yeah, I, I think everyone kind of saw that coming. 
Then, of course, Ignis Heat. I mean, yeah, I'm talking about Draco's Mathematician back at three. Same with that and Neospatial and Grand Mole. I mean, those two kind of surprised me, and they'll be pretty interesting to see what's happening, especially with Neospatial and Grand Mole. I mean, I kind of feel like they did that because of the Megatons, because we know we're getting a new Neospatial uh, fusion, and I think Grand Mole is part of that fusion. So could that be to kind of hype that up? I don't know. It, it looks like that could be a possibility. And also, Compulse, that just seems kind of funny to see that at three as well. That's one of my favorite trap cards, and it's a good trap card too, so <laughs> that could be kind of funny to see that as well. I mean, last time, I guess we saw Torrential go to three. So, uh, yeah, kind of funny to see uh, Compulse kind of uh, follow along on that too. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this ban list? Do you like it? Do you not like it so much? Again, a lot of big cards were banned on this. I mean, when you have Astrograph Sorcerer, Masterpiece, and Ancient Fairy Dragon, I mean, those are three cards that were really effective in the meta, just instantly banned. So there's some big changes for this list. And I gotta say, I'm all right with this ban list, though, too. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of sad to see Astrograph Sorcerer and Ancient Fairy hit, but also I can see why. So it really doesn't surprise me either. So let me know what you guys think about this ban list. If you you're happy about it if you're not happy about it of course tell me why and also what you plan on running for this uh next format you know if there's something that you're really looking forward to trying out uh for me i'm not really sure yet i mean i feel like i really want to build alter guys i mean that's like number one on my list right now and also um yeah i, I don't really know what else I i'm looking forward to trying out the new cyber dragon support though i mean we talked about all that last night so i'm thinking cyber dragons will definitely be meta and uh, that might be pretty fun to run as well so let me know what you guys think of course as always thank you guys for watching be sure to hit that like button of course and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any Yu Gi Oh news because like i said last night we had a ton of news so if you did miss out on that be sure to check out those videos and also ring the bell so you are notified when i upload a new video as well so yeah as always thank you guys for watching expect some deck profiles too i'll start working on those now that we have a ban list and i feel more comfortable working on those and of course i will catch you guys later see ya